there still remains a lot of unmet needs in, in myeloproliferative neoplasms, um, specifically in myelofibrosis. Um, there's a lot of focus on alleviating anemia, which is a very prevalent um, sign and symptom of myelofibrosis and worsens with disease course and is an adverse prognostic marker. So a lot of drugs in development to try to address both disease-related anemia and therapy-related anemia, which many of the therapies we do use exacerbate anemia. Um, Mamalotinib is a JAK1-2 inhibitor, ACVR1 inhibitor that's um, hopefully going to get approved uh, at the end of this month, September of 2023, for patients with myelofibrosis and symptom and spleen burden with the advantage over ruxolitinib and fedratinib of anemia benefit. So that, that would be a welcomed addition to the armamentarium of myelofibrosis treatment. Um, and then we already have picritinib that's, a, that's commercially available since last year. And this is a JAK2 uh, IRAC1 ACVR1 inhibitor, in fact, more potent of an ACVR1 inhibitor than mamalotinib which can be delivered in patients with uh, thromocytopenia. And this is really has been an unmet need, which I think is being addressed now with picritinib um, because um, ruxolitinib and fedratinib really were not effective agents to use in patients with platelets less than 50,000, and the label uh, wasn't for that. So picritinib, you can treat patients with low platelets and in also enjoy an anemia response, which is about 25% uh, clinical improvement.